Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. Why you even bother putting in extra hours down at the hazard course? <laughs> like you'll ever do more than flip a switch or push a button around here. To think, Mom wanted me to waste my money sleeping through college courses when now I'm getting paid to sleep out here. Go on, get. How am I supposed to catch my beauty sleep when you're staring at me like that? Hey, catch me later. We'll, we'll talk about that science stuff some more. Man, this job is boring me to tears. Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straight now. Get away from there, sure Freeman. Down there I'm expecting an important message. Soon. Gordon, don't touch that. Go yeah, use sir. another computer. We can talk at lunch, Gordon. What are you doing still running around up here? Gordo, you're on sundial and we need you on stopwatch. Hop to it. Hey, it's happening! Cut it out! What the hell is going on up there? My horoscope was correct! Did someone pull this fire alarm or something? Come on, Gordon! What are you trying to do? Get me into trouble? Murtaugh. Murtaugh, come in. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. What the hell is going on up there? Uh, we had a little accident up here, sorry. Yeah, well that better be the last accident you have today. Understood? Ah, copy. Damn, Gordon. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. But the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Can you yes, the mail about for that. Me? We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans! Oh, don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. Security oh, would you look at that! Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Well, good morning, Freeman. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. There's a pepperoni pizza in my near future. Yes, maybe a choke on it. Gonna get me one of them jumbo size Retta grape sodas. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Man, I'm working up a mean hunger just thinking about it. You're thinking of something. Mmm. Mmm. What a rudder. Who, who creates these stupid trees? Doctor. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Big day today, eh, Freeman? We can talk later, Gordon. Thank you. 
You forgot to carry the two, or was it the three? studying paleomathematics, eh? Somebody get me a calculator. Just waiting for that Eureka moment. Any moment now. There was someone downstairs asking about you. Or was it upstairs? You got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated... Bah. I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him, but here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated airsots are absolutely full of it. Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. Hold it right there, Mr. Freeman. I got explicit orders not to let you through without your hazard suit on. Morning, champ. Hello. Another day, another dollar. These double shifts are starting to get to me. I'm at the point now where I have to drink a cup just to go to sleep at night. <laughs> Cheers. I trust this morning finds you well. Can this wait till I'm off break? They're serving Salisbury surprise in the cafeteria. Again. Hope you're in top form this morning, Gordon. What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Cause, uh, that was, um... That was you-know-who's lunch. You better make like diarrhea and run. You better make like a baby and head out. You better make like a busboy and get the fork out of here. You better make like traffic and jam. You better make like a nut and bolt. You better make like a missile and cruise. You better make like a bread truck and haul buns. You better make like a prom dress and take off. You better make like a missile and cruise. Believe you me, I won't be taking the blame for this one.
why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Triple pleated khakis? Preposterous. And these ludicrous penny loafers. Nobody here has an eye for fashion. Does this lab coat make me look fat? hazardous environment suit. Of course, at the time, it was Mark III. Mind you, the base color wasn't so loud, and the helmet wasn't optional, or ventilated. There wasn't an integrated waste disposal system, either. Count your lucky stars. Have you ever seen those electromyographic sensors in the old biomechatronic Mark I? A marvel of modern engineering. I worked on the underwater breathing apparatus for the suit, but it was eventually discarded. I say, that suit certainly flatters your fundament. Gordon, this had better be important. Mm -hmm. I thought not. Power 30%. You'll just have to wait until after the test. I hope things return to normal after this experiment. Don't count on it. If anything, you'll just have more to do. Listen, I'm only going to explain this to you one more time. If you have do a you question, know how to fix a paper that jam? isn't my problem. It's yours. It's inconclusive. Right. And if I have a question? It isn't my problem. Oh, contraire! It is still very much so your problem. Now, do we have a problem? No. Really? I don't see a cup of coffee with two sugars and no cream in my hand. Is anyone do else you? getting hungry? No. Well, that looks like a problem to me. We can talk later, Gordon. It's getting increasingly difficult to keep the rank and file in check. Hello, Dr. Cross. Have to make sure they understand their role in the bigger picture, don't you know? Can't let them forget. It's an honor to share this rarefied subterranean air. I confess, I too thought I was cock of the walk when I first entered these hollowed halls, but in time, I was humbled by my experiences. Ah, those were the halcyon days. Take it from me, Gordon. Youth is wasted on the young. Can't you see I'm busy? Hello, Dr. Cross. Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. Well, 
We're all set for this weekend. Dr. Gibbons is coming in to cover for you. Splendid! I haven't missed the New Mexico Comic Convention yet. Yes, soon we will drive our enemies before us. And hear the lamentations of their women! <laughs> Fare thee well, traveler. I don't know about that, Dr. Truman. Seems to me that he's just spouting buzzwords in his research papers that he picked up from perusing popular scientific periodicals. <sighs> Another improper use of the Boltzmann constant. Good heavens, the buffoon spelled Chandra Sekar limit incorrectly. And what in the blue place is a is a raffle copter? Gordon, you know we both have more important things to be doing. Can this wait? You lost, Ace? Yeah, this is still the wrong airlock. Yeah, the, the suit looks great. A bit snug in the back, though, buddy. What's happening, Captain? The network servers are unresponsive. Look, there ain't much I can do about it from here. There isn't much he can do. Period. Everybody, get out your slates and chalk! Genius here can't fix the computer! Hey, I got a physics quandary for you two. What would happen to this conversation if we drop it? This is going to have to wait, Gordon. Gordon, we can handle everything up here. They need you down in the test chamber. Just a minute, Gordon. Right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Gordon Freeman. Did you catch that last fluctuation? 
It's nothing to worry about. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. What's up, Doc? The said for me to take the day off. It's been a mess down here this morning. Have fun. Whew, I'm bushed. Standing around can take a lot out of you. I think we could all use a little R&R, you know what I mean? Days like this make me glad all I have to do is just stand around and look pretty. Look at all these white coats running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Not for me. No, sir. I was never cut out for the scientific techno babble. Sure as hell don't know how a quark works, but the quarks do, and that's the important thing. Hey, catch me later. You, me, and Calhoun will go out and get that beer he owes you. Not now. I'll, I'll stop by when I'm doing my rounds. They need you in the test chamber. Can this wait? Can this wait? Hi. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes... They're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical! What in the blazes is going on <sighs> with our equipment? <sighs> it was never meant to do this in the first place. <sighs> it's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. By Beckrell's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. You know, this is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha! Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro-channel plates. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm afraid so. Gordon, I'm in the middle we of something We can talk here. later, Gordon. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Uh, 
Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mask spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Long time. 